one uh, in attendance. Richard Higgs and Paul Josh, your front row. Row number two is Jake Williams and Scott Hunter. As I am reading the right heat. Yes, Trent Claybrook, Daniel Stanley should be row four with Phil Leichlet and Ryan Penfold off the tail of the field. They should be a field of eight in this one. As the green light comes out, we're underway. He might have quite a few more years than what Joss has for the winner of the Colca Cup a couple of weeks ago. Paul Joss has gone out to an early race lead. But Phil Leichlet for row number three is into third place. No, second. Just like that as Scott Hunter makes a blunder out of turn number three. Leichlet is able to pounce and he's right on the back bumper of Joss. So the two Collie drivers run one and two. They had completely different starting positions. Joss on the outside of the front row. Leichlet has come from the clouds and is right in this one now. As those two just want to dart away from the rest of the field and get lost in each other's eyes. Hunter, Higgs, Williams, Trent Claybrook, who's back out there after a flat right rear tyre in his last heat race. Ryan Penfold and Daniel Stanley make up the rest of the field. Good run at the moment coming from car number 69, or is it the 199 that's the more impressive one as Ryan Penfold has gone around in turn number three. Race still stays green for the present stage, and there goes the yellows. Not too sure if you went around there. We had our eyes fixated on the race lead. Penfold, though, does power away. Joss to lead us away again from Leichlet and Hunter, your top three. They all lead the rest of the field back to the green flag. Joss has stepped outside, so Phil Leichlet can try on the bottom. Leichlet can't get the bottom to work, but Claybrook got the top side to work on Richard Higgs. The 12 now moving up to fourth place. He's now got his sight set on third if he can get around Scott Hunter as those two now work their ways for the last spot on the podium. It's Paul Joss and Phil Leichlet who really can't break away from anyone else though as those two find it out for the race lead. I think Hunter and Claybrook may have something to say about it. The 69 is right there. trying to show the field how it's meant to be, but likely at Claybrook and Scott Hunter all want something to say, but most likely it's the 21 of Trent Claybrook who's making the most noise out of all the drivers behind Joss as Claybrook now trying to find a way around Phil Likely for the pen right. 199 has just got the car situated in the most perfect spot. Well, it was the most perfect spot to keep any challenge at bay, but no. Claybrook has decided that this race could be his. Is he going to switch through the middle on Leichlet and Joss? He'll get Leichlet. And second place is now Claybrook. Right up against the concrete wall in the turn number one. The beers may be stained with a bit of dirt after that one because he was very high. Leichlet flies back on the inside. We've got a grandstand finish coming up in this one. This is an absolute epic Leichlet flies back on the inside and takes over second place and slides right in front of Claybrook. Somehow he was able to get in between the 21 and the 69 as Claybrook returns a favour and there's contact. Contact between those two and Joss is able to dart away with Scott Hunter now into play. Scott Hunter now right behind Leichlet and Claybrook. Joss will take the win. There's contact between Leichlet. And Claybrook, Scott Hunter will come home in third. That'll be Michael, Richard Hicks, Jake Williams, Daniel Stanley, and Ryan Penfold. That was an entertaining one. Good win, though, for Paul Jossie. Car number 69, he takes it out from Claybrook and Scott Hunter.